Hi guys, it's Secret with Spot Treasures, and today I am making a soap called Amazing Grace. Um, it has Italian bergamot, lemon, citron, neruli, musk, and cedarwood. Um, I wouldn't say it's a feminine scent at all. It's more of a um, unisex scent, I would say, um, especially with the uh, musk and the uh, cedarwood in it already. So, I'm not doing a lot of colors on this soap because the fragrance oil is a fast mover. So, I, and I don't want to uh, have a problem trying to get a whole bunch of colors in. So, I'm going to really just make it one color and maybe throw um, some white just kind of scattered on the top just for appearance. Um, right now, I'm adding my lye water, which has my um, Tussa Silk in it. On one of the um, soper groups that I'm in, um, this was one of the scents that they said was so great. So um, I thought I'd give it a try, and it really does smell wonderful. It's a nice, um, fresh scent. It's not too strong, um, but it's nice and fresh. And the fragrance oil is pretty clear, as you can see. So, let me mix this together. And I really don't want to do a whole lot of mixing with this one um, because once I put the fragrance oil in I'm not sure how fast it's going to move. And this color um, is called teal green that I'm using a mica with. Um, actually, let me split off just a little bit for the white. Just a little bit. And I won't put any fragrance in that. Um, that should be good. And this is just the uh, titanium dioxide. I'm not really sure if this is enough in here to really stick blend or not, but we'll give it a try and see. Okay, I think that's about it on that. I've got another soap that I'm also making today, and it is called Olive Branch. And that was another favorite that um, a couple of the other soapers had recommended. Okay, so let me get this out of the way and get the mold. So that once I'm ready to start, it's all together. Okay. So we'll put the 
fragrance in. I'm scared to put this fragrance in. I hear how fast it moves. starting to rice a little bit, so I'm going to have no choice but to do a little stick blending to get the rising out. Okay, that came out pretty well. When it rices, it just basically starts to like it looks like cottage cheese almost, I guess is what I should say. Um, and it doesn't come out smooth, so you have to blend that out. Sometimes you can hand stir it, but most of the times you have to blend it. So let me get the mold in place. Hope you can see that. This is a fast mover. It's already set up pretty good. This is just mainly for to do something different to the top instead of leaving it so plain. I don't mind plain soaps myself though. So there you have it. That's Amazing Grace in the mold. And it should be ready probably um, the first week of May or so. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Stay tuned for the cutting video. It should be on the back end of this one. Hi guys, it's Ingrid. I'm back to cut the Amazing Grace soap today. Um, it's probably been um, about 36 hours since I made it. So it's still a little soft, but um, it's ready. So let me go ahead. And it's pretty plain on the inside. It's just the same color. Um, it was a faster moving fragrance. So I wasn't able to do too much with it, but it really is pretty simple. But that's what it looks like on the inside. And it's a really pretty teal color. Uh, I'm hoping that it stays that way and it doesn't change at all. It's 
So hopefully um, this color will stay the same. I think the this is the first time I put glitter on the top of my soaps. And the main reason why I did it for this soap was because it was so plain and it had no other color really to it. So I just thought I'd spruce it up just a little bit and add just a little bit of color to it on the top. One of my vendors sent me um, some glitter as a sample, so I used that. So there it is. So it's really not much to this one. Um, I will put the set description in the um, description box um, below so that you can see um, what scents are in it. But we're going to call this one Amazing Grace. It'll be ready um, May 7th. Um, so you can find us on the internet at www.spatreasuresonline.com. We're on Facebook um, and we're on Twitter as Spa Treasures. Thank you for watching and have a great day.